Many people want to remove content from Google, whether because it's too old, poorly made, or portrays them negatively. So here is how to do it. Okay, so first, let's address what is search engine indexing. Well, search engine indexing is the process of collecting, parsing, and storing data so that search engine can provide search results instantaneously. So search engine indexing is how search engine organizes information before making it available to users. So search engines like Google use a reverse index to search through information from individual pages and index it properly by summarizing it to just a few keywords. So then what happens when you remove your website from Google? Well, removing your website from Google will only remove it from Google itself. So results for your website may still appear on other search engines like Bing or Yahoo. So if you only remove the search without deleting the site itself, the images, videos, URLs, uh, Google is likely to re-index your website and show it to the search results as well. So for the complete removal of your website, you will have to delete every detail relevant to your site from search results to every piece of content. So why would you want to remove your website from Google? So what could be the reason? Well, it's very simple. You may want to remove your website if it has outdated information or perhaps duplicate content. If you have private information on the website that becomes public, well, you may want to remove it, obviously, you know. You may also want to remove a website with malicious or hacked content or even worse, leaked content. Okay, so let's discover how we can remove a website from Google search results. Okay, so first we need to check if our URL is actually indexed with Google. So for this, you go to google.com and type in site semicolon followed by your domain name, just like we have on screen, okay? And then search. And as you can see here, it's returning 1,780 results, which means that our website verpex.com is indeed indexed in Google. Now, if it's not indexed, you will see something like this. So let me come up with a domain name that doesn't exist, okay? And you will see this page basically, okay? And as you can see, you are advised by Google to actually index your website using the Google Search Console. So this is the main tool that we use to do so. So if your website is actually indexed and you have all these different pages, maybe you want to remove some of them out of the Google index. And to do so, like we mentioned, we need to access the Google Search Console, okay? So let's click on this and let's discover that together. And this will bring you to the Search Console dashboard. So right here, you can see immediately how many pages are indexed on your website. This is a sample website that we're using. As you can see, 156 index pages for this specific website here. So as you can see by your side, you have all these different tools. So the first step is to check if one specific URL is actually indexed. So if you click on URL inspection here, you can put the actual URL, okay? And then search. And as you can see, this page is actually indexed. It's showing here, this is indexed, uh, mobile usability, snippets and listings. So all of this is up to date. And now if you want to get rid of it from the Google index altogether, as you can see by the side, we have the indexing section here and we have removals. So if you click on this, you can now submit a new request. And as you can see here, it clearly says this is to urgently remove content from Google search. And then you can select which area it belongs to. You know, this is, could be temporary removal, outdated content or safe search filtering. So let me show you very quickly the next step. So let's click on new request. You enter your URL. So on any URL on your website that's actually listed in the Google index. And then you can select remove this URL only. So it's just that page alone or remove all URLs with this prefix. So this could be a category and all the subcategories will be deleted all at once as well, just by selecting this option here. And on top, we have two different options as well. Temporarily remove the URL or clear cached URL. So this is a deeper cleaning process altogether. Basically, all the cached URLs that are actually stored in the Google search result will also be removed. So this is how you can file a URL removal request with Google. Now, what are other methods that you can use to remove your content from Google search results? Well, you can always lock or rename your website to prevent access. So basically set up a password and you'll be the only one to access it or you can delete your website altogether from your server, depending the circumstances, obviously, you know, but the most efficient one still is to file a content removal request to Google themselves. Okay, so now let's suppose your website has no issue, it's working absolutely fine, but it's slow. Let's say you have a slow running website which can impede your conversion rate. Would you like to find out how you can increase the speed of your website? If so, you can go and watch this video here.